52 feedings. <laughs> <laughs> Feed us, Chef Dad. Yes. So you were making something which we thought was impossible. Ashley is Italian, makes her own pasta. Mm -hmm. We were a little dubious. Yes. About was, making a delicious sauce in 15 minutes. I know. I was like, wait a minute. 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes. Even better. But you said yes. You give it a stamp of approval. I, yeah. You it's know, it, it's the secret is, of course, the right ingredients. Mm -hmm. The trick about a marinara is it doesn't take long. A meat sauce, the Italians will cook it all day. But the key is, you know, a, a marinara, as you know, is mm -hmm. supposed to be fresh. Yes. And again, we go, go back to the ingredients. Now, the first thing I do is in a saucepan with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, I'll saute my garlic. Now, I chose to also do my onion with it as well. You can use onion powder, not onion salt, mm -hmm. in the seasoning mix, which will be on the uh, website for you folks, either at chefdad.com or at azfamily.com when you go to look it up. But if you're going to do your own garlic, you don't need garlic powder. Yeah. But again, mm -hmm. I say garlic powder, not garlic salt. Because if you used onion, salt, uh, garlic powder, I mean garlic salt and regular kosher salt, you're going to have way too salty of a dish. Come on in, Ian. Yeah, come on oh in. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Can you smell? Yum, yum. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That smells wonderful. Does it smell awesome? But anyway, this has been cooking for a couple of minutes, the uh, onion and garlic. And I'm going to go ahead and now add my tomato sauce. Okay, straight out of the can. Right out of the can. Now, the secret to the tomato sauce and the, and the chunky tomatoes that you're gonna see, you know, in the cans over here. And if I didn't get that right, so you can see it, let me know. But you know, the, the thing is, you want organic. I mean, I don't normally recommend organic or spend the money on it, but when it comes to canned tomatoes, it does make a difference, it really yeah. does. And you know, the tomatoes have just been canned, a lot of them around the country because this is the time of year. So you find that they're, they're fresher? I love it. Okay. And the mm -hmm. now the seasoning mix. Now this is a combination of basil, sugar. I added a little bit of crushed red pepper, a dash of oregano, and salt and pepper. But this is your seasoning mix. The crushed basil flakes are the key. And then again, this is going to go ahead and simmer for See, 10 minutes. And my grandma always said it was the sugar that made a little bit of a difference. Oh, it does. No, yeah. I mean, that and, a, and a, a drop of some red wine in there, too, oh, well, you know? Well. You're not scaring nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the red wine, I think, is a great idea. Yeah. And, you know, you can actually turn this into a meat sauce. By adding, adding maybe meat. A, <laughs> by adding meat. Yeah. You know, but it's like, you know, don't go with more than a quarter pound of uh, ground beef that you would, you know, saute in a little bit of olive oil salt and pepper, but you add that in and let it simmer for five, ten minutes and you're ready to go. Dinner wow. is ready to go. And, and Lena, were you saying that this kind of helped you get your start or you were known for or that this is mm -hmm. a little ten minute deal? Yeah, you know what happened, uh, Ian, I sold my company back in Illinois, moved out here to try and retire. Well, that, uh, that got boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I learned how to cook when I was very young as a firefighter paramedic in the Chicago area and then ended up uh, giving Tammy the spatulas, if you will, while I was building a company. And then when we moved out here, I launched a line of gourmet pasta sauces. Wow. There, there you, you go. go. You want to try it? Ah. Gourmet pasta. Look at that. Unfortunately, that means we have to go to break. We don't get to taste it until we come back, Chef Dad. Oh, I bet you'll be doing it during the break. Ashley, <laughs> <laughs> you better you try know it first. Oh, yeah. She's going to be telling you. All right. We'll be right back, y'all.